designed to mitigate the threat of North Korean missiles arrived at the Osan Air Base in South Korea Monday night, according to the U.S. military. The announcement comes just a day after North Korea test-fired four ballistic missiles into the Sea of Japan, also known as the East Sea. China has voiced opposition to the proposed placement of the military hardware known as the Thermal High Altitude Area Defense System, or THAAD, which it sees as a threat to its own security. We will firmly take necessary measures to preserve our own security interest in the U.S. and South Korea must bear the potential consequences, Minister of Foreign Affairs spokesman Jing Shang said Tuesday. With North Korea upping the amount of missiles and nuclear tests last year, the U.S. and South Korea has publicly stressed the need to speed up the deployment of the technology. It's designed to shoot down incoming missiles that threaten civilian populations. You can compare this to shooting a bullet with another bullet in simple terms, experts say. Continued provocation actions by North Korea to include yesterday's launch of multiple missiles only confirm the prudence of our alliance decision last year to deploy FAD to South Korea, Admiral Harry Harris, Commander, U.S. Pacific Command, said in a news release. The decision to deploy FAD in South Korea was made in July of last year and U.S. President Donald Trump's administration has said it's committed to following through. U.S. Secretary of Defense James Mattis and South Korea Defense Secretary Han Min Koo spoke over the phone last week and agreed that that should be deployed ASAP. China has long opposed the deployment of the defense system so close to its own borders and has called on U.S. and South Korea to stop the deployment. One concern is that THAAD's advanced radar system could be used to spy on China's activities rather than monitor incoming missiles from North Korea, according to Mark Tokla of Korean Economic Institution of America. China also worries THAAD would undermine its ability to respond to an attack on its own soil says Tokola, a former deputy chief of mission at the U.S. Embassy of Seoul. In a fiercely worded commentary published by China's official news agency, Exuna said the Lord board would hurt the Chinese people and the consequences could be severe if it went ahead. Lot stands to lose Chinese customers in the Chinese market. That would be a very large slice out of their business pie, said the commentary which did not carry a byline. The South Korean government said last week it believed Chinese authorities had told travel agencies in Beijing to stop selling trips to South Korea, intensifying fears of a trade war between the neighbors. The Chinese government, however, denied any knowledge of such an order. If Beijing did choose to retaliate through trade, it could make a significant dent. China is South Korea's largest trading partner with the latter exporting up to 142 billion each year to the country. Almost half of the 17 million people who visit South Korea last year were Chinese, according to the data from the Korea Tourism Organization. Now, the system wouldn't completely shield the U.S. and its allies from North Korean missiles threats. It's aimed solely at defending South Korea against missiles from North Korea, according to U.S. forces in Korea. The system could be overwhelmed if North Korea were to launch a series of missiles simultaneously and it is not effective against submarine launch ballistic missiles launched from South, East, or West, or lower South Korea. According to a report from North Korea Monitoring Group 38 North, THAAD can detect and track targets with a range of 1,000 kilometers, the report said, which means it may not stop a potential intercontinental ballistic missile or ICBM. North Korea leader Kim Jong-un said in January that his country is in a final stages of developing an ICBM which could reach the west coast of the United States. But President Trump vowed that it won't happen in a tweet prior to his inauguration. This whole situation with North Korea and China is escalating very rapidly. We could see a major regional war breaking out in that area within the next six months. What do you think? Are we headed to war with North Korea and China? Leave your comments below this video. Thanks for watching.